Hi dear, today we will see lens. Okay, first we will see what is lens, how it is made up of and then types of lens and terminology is related with the lens. Okay, so what is meant by lens uh, is lens, it is a transparent medium. Okay, when it is a transparent, transparent medium, then only light will refract, right? It will pass through that, right? It is a transparent medium bounded by two surfaces. Okay. So, it is bounded by two surfaces. It has two surfaces. Okay. Out of which one are both the surfaces are spherical. Compulsorily one of the surface should be a spherical surface. Okay. Other may be a spherical or other may be a plane or other surface may be a spherical also. Like this. Okay. Okay. So, it is a transparent. What is mean by lens? Uh, lens is a transparent medium bounded by two surfaces. Two surfaces out of which one or both the surface. Okay. Okay. One or both the surface may be a spherical. Okay. This is the definition of lens. So, you will see types of lens. Types of lens are convex lens and one more is con concave lens. Okay. Convex lens is otherwise called, called as converging lens. Okay. Convex lens is otherwise called as converging lens. Okay. So, uh, what is uh, mean by convex lens means? So, this is your convex lens. Okay. This is your convex lens curved outwards. Okay. So, uh, it has two surfaces bounded by the two surfaces. Okay. Here, it is thick at the center it is thick at the thick at the center and thin at the ends okay the lens which is thick at the center and thin at the edges is called convex lens okay it is also called as converging lens why means it converges a parallel beam of light passing through it okay it converges when a light rays passes through like this Okay, it will converge all the rays at a point. Okay, so at a point it will be converged. Okay, this is called, that's why it is called converging lens. Okay, so uh, what is meant by convex lens? The lens which has thick at the middle, the center and uh, thin at the edges is known as convex lens. It is also called converging lens. Why? Because it converges the pair of um, ray. Uh, it converges the ray, uh, parallel rays in at a point, okay, when it passes through it, okay. So, there are three types of convex lens, that is double convex lens, plano convex lens and concave convex lens, okay. Here, the double convex lens means, this is your double convex lens. Both the surfaces are spherical in nature, okay. Both the surfaces are spherical in nature. Plano, plano convex lens means one of the surface is plane, okay, and the other surface is spherical, okay. But the net effect of this uh, lens will converge all the rays when it pass through this, okay. When a parallel beam of pass through this, it converge all the rays at, at a point. So, the net effect will be converging. So, it is called a convex lens, okay. But it is a combination of a plane surface and a spherical surface. Okay. And concave or convex lens means. So your convex part is here. Um, can draw like this. Here. This is concave. Concave. Okay. If you see this. This is concave. Curved inwards. And this is convex. Curved outwards. And the net, net effect of this uh, lens will, will also converge all the rays. Okay. Converge all the rays when, when the rays are passing uh, parallel. So, when the rays, parallel beam of rays are passes through that, it will converge all the rays. Okay. When it passes through that, it converge all the rays. So, it finally, it is called as convex lens. Since the shape, uh, one of the surface is uh, concave in shape, it is called concave or convex lens. It is a combination of both concave surface and convex. Okay. 
so but the net effect whether it will diverge the uh, rays or co converge the rays means it will uh, finally it will converge the rays since it is called convex lens okay if you see all the lens here it is thick at the middle thick at the middle when compared to the ends thick at the middle when compared to the ends clear on this okay what is meant by convex lens convex lens is a lens just thick at the middle and thin at the ends okay it is otherwise called converging lens because it converges the parallel beam of light rays when passes through it what are the three types of convex lens double convex lens plan, uh, plano convex lens concave convex lens okay double con uh, we'll see in detail later okay next one so next type of lens is your concave lens concave lens is nothing but your diverging lens we can call it as diverging lens okay so here what is the definition of concave lens that is it is thin at the center and thicker at the edges or ends so see here it is thin at the center at the center it is thin at the ends or at the edges it is thick okay the lens which are thinner at the center and thicker at the ends or edges is called convex concave lens okay it is also called diverging lens because it diverges a parallel beam of light rays passing through it suppose this is a concave lens okay concave lens when a parallel beam of light passes through this okay it will diverge the light rays it will diverge the light rays okay clear on this it will diverge the light rays so it is called diverging lens okay so we have three types of concave lens also same thing is repeating double concave lens double concave lens means here also curved inwards here also curved inwards this is double concave lens plano concave lens means one of the surface will be plane and other is curved one if you see all this thing here it is thin thin at the middle thin at the middle when compared to the edges okay convex or concave lens convex or concave lens so it will be your uh, what is this uh, concave and your front portion will also be a huh? curved this is curved outwards this is convex and this is curved inwards this is concave okay Uh, actually it will be uh, thin at the middle and thick at the edges okay so this is uh, convex or concave lens the net effect will be the diverging of light rays so it is called concave lens okay it has both the surface uh, curved inwards as well as cur curved outwards the net effect will be diverging of the rays so it is called uh, diverging lens so what are the main two types of lenses concave lens Uh, uh, convex lens. Uh, concave means diverging lens. Convex means uh, converging lens. Okay. So, uh, other terminologies related to this are center of curvature, radius of curvature, and principal axis. Okay. Yeah. Here I have mentioned centers of curvatures, right? Centers of curvature. Centers means it is plural, right? That means it has two centers the lens has two surface uh, centers because it is bounded by two surfaces right it is bounded by two surfaces so it will have two center of curvatures okay the center of the two imaginary sphere of which the lens is a part are referred to as center of curvature of a lens hence it has two centers of curvature with respect to its two curved surface we see this we will take the uh, first convex lens so this is your convex lens okay okay this part this first part is it is a part of this sphere okay this sphere has this sphere has a center okay so this is c1 this is center of curvature okay again the second part of this lens second part of the lens is a part of the another sphere this is the part of the sphere okay for this uh, for this sphere your center will be here this is your c2 clear on this okay 
these are the centers of the curvature this is for convex lens and likewise for concave lens you will have two centers right this here this this uh, this part is a part of this sphere imagine sphere okay so it will have some center this is c1 okay here this second part is a part of a sphere this sphere has a center this is your c2 clear these are the centers of the curvature centers of centers of the curvature is a, these are the centers of the curvature it is a center of the imaginary sphere this is a imaginary sphere here this is the part of the sphere okay and this is the part of this sphere okay clear on this so it has two cent uh, center of curvatures likewise radius uh, radii of curvature so radius is singular uh, radii is uh, plural right radii is uh, radii of curvature the radii of the two imaginary spheres of which the lens is a part is known as radius of uh, radii of curvature of the lens hence it has two radius of curvature again we see what is this so from center uh, from center to this part this is your r1 okay radius 1 center 1 means uh, uh, radius 1 okay again from this center to this is a part of this lens right so from this center to up to this part this is your r2 okay i'll mention mark this measurement this is your r2 okay and your r1 will be from here to here your r1 is here clear on this okay here this is your r1 here this is your r2 okay these are the radii of curvature okay likewise principal axis you will know that principal axis is a imaginary line joining the uh, two centers joining the two centers as well as as well as it will pass through the optical center okay one more terminology is there it is optical center we'll, now we will study that okay so the imaginary line which passes through the centers of the lens and also through the optical center it is called principal axis okay now we will see this optical center what is this optical center optical center a point on the principal axis of a lens through which a ray of light refract without any deviation from the path right you, you are we have studied right when it is passes through the when it is perpendicular to the surface incident normally it will refract but without any deviation no bending of the light will happen right so likewise a point on the principal axis see this is your convex lens okay so you know that uh, this is your <coughs> c2 this it is an imaginary line this is your c1 okay so imaginary lines means what the imaginary line is a line joining the uh, centers of the centers of the circle uh, lens as well as it will pass through the pass through the optical center okay optical center means what it is a point on the principal axis okay this is a point on the principal axis through which a ray of light pass for example a ray of light is passing through this optical center then it will not it will not bend the light rays will not bend without any deviation it will pass through this okay okay the point on the principal axis where the light rate refract without any deviation from the path it is called this point is called optical center it is represented by o clear on this for example it may pass through this line <coughs> without any deviation okay it can go like this without any deviation when it passes through the optical center there will not be any deviation there is no, no bending of the light happens there okay happens over there okay likewise for the uh, concave lens also 
so the imaginary line this is c1 c2 okay this is a principal axis principal axis a point lies on the principal axis okay through which if a light pass through undeviated then 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 this point is called your optical center okay this is called optical center okay and also uh, actually this optical center is not the here i have mentioned in the center part of this okay because it is a uh, a double convex lens and it is a double concave lens i have drawn so here the radius uh, both the radius of the sphere this sphere as well as this imaginary spheres will have the same radius okay the same radius then you will have the cent optical center at the center of the sphere okay but this optical center will not lie at the center of the lens in the case of a uh, plano convex lens or a uh, plano concave lens or uh, uh this uh, convex or convex because the radius of the two surfaces will be differ okay so the optical center can lies inside on the surface or outside the lens depending upon the values of r1 and r2 okay here this for the double convex i have drawn the double convex lens here this r1 is equals to r2 okay so here uh, that's why i have shown the optical center at the ce center of this lens okay it may lie on the surface of the lens or inside somewhere here or outside this also okay outside the lens also it may lie depending upon the uh, uh, values of r1 and r2 because see this is the uh, plano convex lens okay you can you can able to find the radius of this surface convex lens this is your radius okay for this plane surface it is a it uh, for the plane surface means what this is a uh, part of a biggest sphere imaginary sphere right we cannot measure the radius of uh, curvature will be at it is it is not a measurable one okay because because it is part of a infinitely uh, big 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 sphere okay we are not able to measure the radius or center of curvature nothing okay so your uh, optical center may differ okay it is not necessary that it should lie at the center of this lens okay okay that's all about the optical center optical center means what it is a point on the principal axis of the lens through which a ray of light refract without any deviation without any deviation from the path okay so optical center can lies inside on the surface or outside the lens depending upon the values of r1 and r2 clear on this okay next we move to the important terminology that is your principal focus okay so we have two centers two radius likewise we have a two focus point okay so we have a two focal length also okay right so principal focus the lens has two principal focus first uh, focus sorry principal focus plural okay first principal focus okay this is a point located on the principal axis of the lens you know that the principal uh, focus point will lie on the principal axis only principal axis of a lens where the ray runs parallel to principal axis after refraction okay okay after refraction it will run parallel to the principal axis okay see this is your convex lens this is your principal axis okay this is your principal axis they mention run parallel to the principal axis after refraction okay so for example a object is here a rays from this a uh, point is located on the principal axis okay after refraction after refraction it runs parallel to the principal axis that is parallel to principal axis okay from the from the point 
from where all the rays are coming no this is your f1 this is your first principal focus okay first principal focus this is a point located on the principal axis of the lens where the rays run parallel to the principal axis after refraction after passing through the lens it is refracted right then it pa passes parallel to the principal axis this is your first principal focus and likewise for concave lens <coughs> so the rays are coming like this okay so after refraction this is your principal axis after refraction it runs parallel to the principal axis it runs parallel to the principal axis okay here it appears to converge see it appears to converge here the light rays will appear to converge at a point okay it appears to all the light rays will appear to converge at a point this is called your f1 okay in case of concave lens it appears to converge here it is already converged from a from a single point it is converging okay it, it, from a single point it tracing all the rays are coming okay then after refraction it pass parallel to the principal axis okay here um, in the concave lens after refraction it uh, it passes parallel to the principal axis and it appears to converge at a point right it appears to converge at a point uh, so it is this point is your first principal focus okay here it is a real one here it is a real focus point here it is virtual it is not real it is actually appear to converge appear to converge appear to meet okay this is the first focus point f1 and f1 okay second principal uh, focus this point is located on the principal axis at which the rays coming parallel to the principal axis okay from where the the rays will be coming parallel to the principal axis okay converges on the other side of the lens in case of convex lens it will converge at the after refraction it will converge okay in case of concave lens it appear to meet converge at the same side of the lens after refraction from the lens see so this is your convex lens the rays are com the rays are coming parallel to the principal axis parallel to the principal axis this is principal axis and it is pa uh, coming parallel to the principal axis after refraction it will converge at a point it will converge at a point this point is called second principal focus okay see it is a point located on the principal axis it is located on the principal axis at which the rays coming parallel to the principal axis converges at a point okay converges on the other side of the lens in case of convex lens okay in case of concave lens okay the rays are coming parallel to the principal axis coming parallel to the principal axis parallel means next then it will diverge right it will diverge like this okay it will diverge like this here it appears to converge the refracted rays this is your refracted rays right these are the refracted rays these refracted rays appear to converge at a point appear to converge at a point this point on the principal axis is called second principal focus now this is appears to converge this is a virtual focus point virtual 
focus point and this is real converging of light rays okay so this is a real one clear on this so the second principal focus in case of concave lens this focus point appears uh, uh, lies on the same side of the lens okay even after refraction also it lies on the same side of the uh, lens okay this is your uh, two principal focus of convex and concave lens okay so first principal means what after refraction it will passes parallel to the principal axis okay from the point where it coming no that point is called principal focus it is real in case of convex and it appears to converge at a point okay these uh, the rays from where it is coming these rays are appears to uh, converge at a point so it appears to converge since it is appears to converge at a point so it is a virtual focus point okay this is a first principal focus and in case of second principal focus if a parallel beam of rays uh, parallel sorry, ray, ray of light which is uh, parallel to the principal axis after refraction after refraction it will converge at a point that point lies on the principal axis that point is called uh, second principal focus in case of concave lens when a ray of light which is parallel to principal axis after refraction it diverges okay these diverged uh, diverged rays refracted rays appears to meet at a point or converge at a point that lies on the principal axis that is called uh, second principal axis okay and last few terminologies you know this focal length of a lens focal length of a lens means it is the distance between the focus and the optical center of a lens okay the distance between the focus focus point and the optical center of the lens okay focal plane means a plane passing through the focus and is perpendicular to the principal axis is known as focal plane for example uh, this is your uh, convex lens this is your principal axis okay for example this is the focal point this is your f2 okay f2 will lies here in case of uh, as convex lens right if a plane is passing through this for example you are going to keep a plane here okay this plane should be this plane should be perpendicular to this if i draw a front view means it will be like this this is a plane and this plane is perpendicular to the principal axis clear on this this is the focal plane focal plane means what just through the focus point okay if you are, if you keep a plane at the point of focal uh, focus point and the plane should be kept perpendicular to the principal axis that is important okay that is called focal plane and in the same case in uh, this refractive axis refractive axis is a imaginary axis at the optical center perpendicular to the principal axis see this is your optical center okay uh, imaginary axis which is drawn perpendicular to the principal axis which is drawn perpendicular to the principal axis and passes through the optical center it is called refractive axis okay this is called refractive axis and you have learned the aperture in the, in the spherical mirror itself aperture is the effective diameter of the circular outline of a spherical lens is known as aperture that is so this is your lens means and this part is made up of this circle right sphere so the biggest aperture is will be this one okay so this is your aperture length effective diameter of the circular outline okay okay small aperture means for example so this is your aperture aperture okay if it is a if the lens is a part of this small uh, spot of this spherical mirror this is your lens mean this is your aperture okay this is the biggest aperture is the nothing but your diameter of the uh, circular outline diameter of the sphere okay i think this is the biggest aperture this lens will have a small aperture usually we will take the lens with the small apertures only okay 
these are the uh, apertures effective diameter of the circular outline of a spherical lens is called aperture okay for example uh, this is a sphere this is your lens means this is your lens means then this is your aperture okay that's all about the terminologies related to the uh, lens we will see the image formation in all this lens in the next class. Okay. Thank you.